Hey, this is Mitch. Just going to shoot you that quick video about how to outrank the local competition and get some more clients online. So since you don't have a Facebook page or a website, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at three of your top competitors in your area's websites, see what they're doing and how you can build out a website that will outrank them and bring you lots of new clients every month. So the three things we're going to go over are content, backlinks, and citations. And if you can beat your competition in all three of those, you will outrank them and get more clients. So for content, Google likes to see about 1,000 to 1,500 words of content on a home page. That's just all these uh, words that we can highlight. Google can also read what you save your images as. So you want to make sure you're saving them as keyword intent uh, phrases, not just before and I'm guessing after. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about keywords here in a couple minutes. So they don't really have that much content, but let's just say they had a thousand words on their homepage, then you would want 1,250 words. They don't have very much content either. And they don't have that much content either. I'd say the first website had the most. So the next thing we're going to talk about is backlinks and all a backlink is is a link from one website to another website and when you link the websites they're going to pass power so not all backlinks are created equal you want to go after those high power backlinks on Arif's one of the paid tools that i use they rank a website's power with ur and dr you want those two numbers as close together as possible and as high as possible to lead you to have a more powerful website and rank higher for the keywords um, you can see they have 20 backlinks. Now that's coming into this back page right here. Their main domain, since it is a big uh, company, they have a lot more backlinks there, and that's why that number is a lot higher. Um, we'll take a look over here. Um, not very powerful. Uh, they have 99 backlinks, but the good thing is, is we can go in for all the competition and see what backlinks they're getting. And go after those same links because if it put them on the first page of google it'll put you on the first page of google too you just want to go after those same links and then get more let that load real quick um and then they don't have any uh backlinks coming in what we'll do now is we'll take a look at some of the keywords to give you an idea of what all that backlinking does for you. So this column right here is going to be the search term that is searched on Google. This column is the average monthly search volume. And this column is the KD or the keyword difficulty. It just tells us how hard and how long it's going to take to rank a keyword for these uh, for this area. So uh, it's ranked on a scale of 0 to 100, with 0 being the easiest, 100 being the hardest. So you want to go after those high volume, low KD keywords. Um, you can see here that Drywall Repair Nashville is searched on average 100 times a month, and it has a 0 KD. Uh, it doesn't get any easier than that. You can see that this website is in the second position and they get an average of 38 clicks per month on their website just from that one keyword. Um, ceiling repair, 50 searches. Uh, drywall repair, Nashville TN, 40 searches. Sheetrock repair, Nashville, 40 searches. Uh, popcorn ceiling removal, Franklin. Popcorn ceiling removal, Brentwood. Um, drywall contractor, Nashville, 50. And that's the hardest one that you have so far with a 1KD. Um, to go through all the competition and service Brentwood, Franklin, even if you service all the way up to uh, Gallatin or Hendersonville, they're all going to have their own search volumes. And sorry about that. I don't know why my computer's being a little slow. Um, and when you go through the competition and find all the keywords that you want to rank for, you're going to want to put those keywords into the content on your homepage and your service pages. Push those powerful backlinks to those pages, and then you're going to start ranking for these keywords and start bringing in a lot of traffic um, to your website. We'll just exit out of those. So the last thing that we're going to talk about is going to be citations. And if I were to search drywall contractor Nashville TN, you're going to get this map pack that's going to pop up right here with the top three Google My Business listings in it. 
in order to get your Google My Business listing in this top three, which is a very powerful place to be, um, before you go after citations, you want to make sure that your listing is completely optimized. And all that means is you want to make sure that you have more pictures than everyone else saved in the right format. Google likes it 1024 megapixels by 1024 megapixels. They like it to be saved as keyword intent phrases and also geotagged to the different areas that you service. Then down here, they're going to give you 750 characters for a description. You want to use all 750 characters or as close to all of them as possible. Uh, just by eyeballing it, they're using maybe half or a little bit less. After you have that optimized, you can go after citations, which are just name, address, phone number, listed on as many online directories as possible. That's going to be like Yellow Pages, Yelp, Hot Frog. There's hundreds that you've probably never heard of. And a lot of times they're also going to give you a spot for a backlink as well. So you can kind of kill two birds with one stone. And you can go after uh, the citations to rank in the map pack as the same time as you're going after the backlinks to rank in the organic search rankings. If you have questions about any of this or you need help building out a website that's going to outrank your competition and bring you new clients each and every month, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to jump on a phone call and take a little bit of a deeper dive into this with you.